to Japan, the most expensive country in the world, or so everyone seems to believe. It's October, but the summer weather is still holding on, so we're going to take advantage of it while we can. This is Echigo Yuzawa in Niigata Prefecture. We drove here, but if you don't have a car, here are two budget options to get you here. If you live in or are traveling in Niigata Prefecture, you can ride the Joetsu bullet train at a 10% to 50% discount with the s -Kippo. A round trip between Niigata and Echigo Yuzawa is just 7,100 yen. Can't afford to take the bullet train? An Echigo two-day pass will let you ride the local train from anywhere in Niigata as many times as you want over a two-day period for just 2,500 yen. Coming from the Tokyo area? Check the Seibu bus website and you could score a highway bus ride for as little as 2,500 yen. The purpose of any trip isn't where you went, but what you did there. Our budget today is 20,000 yen. A lot for a one-day trip. But this isn't any ordinary one-day trip. Welcome to Minikami. It's Japan's adventure capital. It's earned that name because there are so many rafting, climbing, and canoeing companies here to go with. But today we're going to do something way more exciting than that. Bungee jumping. That's right, bungee jumping. Have a look at this. There are only two permanent bungee bridges in all of Japan. This is the Suakyo in Minakami. It's 42 meters tall, that's about 140 feet for those of you using the imperial system, and it's the first, the original Japan bungee bridge. It's got company now though. This is the Sarugakyo. It only opened in June, and it's way prettier than the Suakyo. It's also higher at 62 meters, and more comfortable to jump off of. The rig allows you to jump and be retrieved in a seated position. It feels way more secure than the legs tied together rig at the Suakyo, so I'm going to jump here. Welcome to the Saruga Kyo. This is Japan's second permanent bungee bridge. It's 62 meters high and it only opened this year. I'm joined by one of the owners of Japan Bungee, David. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie Odinka. Odlin. Odlin. Odlin, I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of people watching the show right now that are yep. going, oh my god, bungee jumping? Yep. You're crazy, I could never do that, but this is Japan. It might very well be the safest country in the world. What sort of safety rules and regulations do you have to comply in order to operate Japan bungee? Um, well, we basically base all our rules and, and standards around the New Zealand system, okay. which is where it was uh, established, bungee jumping was originally established. And, uh, can you tell us anything about some of the more simple but most safe, safety oriented details, like what in particular makes it safer than... Basically, the equipment that's to be used, uh, something like bungee cords, you could probably jump two, three thousand times on them, but based on New Zealand standards, <laughs> we require each bungee cord after 500 jumps. Wow, each bungee cord gets 500 jumps, yeah. my goodness, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Our goal is to be the safest one to jump side the That's good to hear. So, yeah, yeah. That's I think it's quite important. <laughs> I, I agree. Safety is quite important. Safety is paramount in jumping. Yeah. So when did you actually start Japan Bungee? Uh, bungee Japan started as a dream in around 2004. Oh, wow. And it became a reality in 2007. So it's actually really quite young. It's quite young, yeah. I've been bungee jumping since 95, so 18 years. Wow. How many times have you actually jumped? How many jumps do you have under your belt? Uh, I lost count after 100. <laughs> <laughs> I reached 100 and then I don't have to jump anymore. Alrighty then. Well, can I jump off the bridge? Sure can. Alright, let's get this on. Yeah, good on you. Alright. If you've bungee jumped before, then you know what this feels like. But if you haven't, I can't tell you what it'll be like for you. This is my first ever bungee jump. I was jittery from my stomach to my knees, and my mind wouldn't stop torturing me with images of broken bungee cables. My legs wouldn't jump when it came time for me to jump, so I just had to do it, close my eyes and lean forward until I fell off of the bridge. For a second, it felt like jumping off of a diving board into a pool, 
and I expected it to take just as long. But when the elapsed time from jumping off a diving board passed, the acceleration kicked in, and everything I'd been worried about for the last 25 minutes simply disappeared. It was amazing. It's the fourth time I've gone bungee jumping, and the feeling of not wanting to do it now is stronger than it was the very first time I did it. But I'm here. I'm not backing out now. It's time to jump off a bridge. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! Woohoo! My fourth ever bungee jump was exciting as ever. Normally a jump from the Saruga Kyo costs 10,000 yen per person, but I got to do it for 6,500 yen because I've already done it once this season. If you want a great deal, Bungee Japan offers you the chance to jump off both of their bridges for 14,000 yen. Two jumps in one day. Think you can handle it? I only jumped once today. But after that, my heart is still going a million miles an hour. I need to chill. Anybody interested in some onsen? Well, this is it. The day ends here at Montenboshi no Yu Hot Springs on the shores of Lake Akadaniko. The outdoor bath here overlooks the water of Lake Akadani and the slopes surrounding it. It's the perfect place to end the day. We're well within our 20,000 yen budget, and if there's a better way to take advantage of the summer weather, I can't think of it. It just goes to show, with a little bit of research and an adventurous spirit, you too can travel on a dime. Right now, I'm gonna soak in as much of this onsen as I can. See ya.